Iron Stories, Episode 29, Parting. Welcome back to another episode of Iron Stories. Last where we have last left off is in the Holdfast Barrow together with Gibran, Catania and Nasana and where Gibran and Nasana fought a fight um, in the physical world. Catania has fought a fight in the uh, metaphysical world or in the um, psychological world or in her mind in the spirit world maybe um, is the best uh, description where she f uh, faced um, a, a lost soul or a troubled soul um, that inhabits this barrow or inhabits this tomb of a long lost and forgotten civil uh, part of civilization and she fought it uh, first um, was tempted to give in into the power and the temptation that it offered and then but then it was able to repel it and fought, fight it back with the help of her um, uh, love long or lost love that she has that um, she keeps um with her all the time themon um and she fought it back and in the process of fighting it back he, she learned as well a bit more about um this iron curse this iron corruption that seems to be spreading around the world or around the iron lands as they know know it uh, and it seems to be some sort of like everlasting cycle of um of bad things that happen upon those that bury out the iron from the ground, uh, forge weapons with it, uh, and go to war, kill people that in itself over time turn uh, back into iron themselves, and from them or from then their own they get dug out again by other people and the rage and the f anger that is kept within the iron uh, is released and infects the mind of the next one and so on and so forth uh, that is what she has also learned from from the spirits uh, that was uh, within the blade that is where we have left off and that is where we uh, come back again um, together with Gibran and Asana and Asana um, in in realizing because from the outside it looked like that um, Catania was consumed by the shadow uh, and Nesana uh, gave one of her or gave her dagger to Catania to keep her safe because it seems that the silver imbued uh, weapons that Nesana carries or Nesana has to, to at her disposal once uh, seem to be keeping away these bad spirits um, and does offer some form of protection, um, not only physical protection because they're weapons nonetheless, but also some sort of uh, spiritual protection and metaphysical protection as well. So this is where they stand within um, the tomb, which is more or less like a prison complex um, but all of them are varied out from the different kind of fights that they had. Um, Nesana and Chebran are mostly also are not only broken in 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 uh, they have bruises and cuts along themselves as well, but they're also kind of um, spiritually broken, um, as is. Um, Catania uh, herself as well. She's mostly spiritually broken or has endured a lot of stress during this whole ordeal uh, within the spirit world. Um, 
So now it is time for them to leave. They they have what they come came for. Uh, they have the sword that um, Nesana lent Kaivan. So it is now time to get out of here again. Um, to not no longer dwindle longer in this in this place. And it is, I think, Nesana that has this. Uh, kind of urgency uh, at, at, at her. Um, she can feel the the presence that is in here, um, and she kind of also she has seen what this place can do um, with the um, the kind of um, greed uh, that or the kind of stuff like the greed that has played upon she feels a bit more safe to 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 make it out of course now that they have they're all protected by some sort of silver but i mean it's not a um a complete uh protection uh, against everything it's just part of a protection it's like a shield but a shield can still be broken so she ushers them to 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 go, um, and she tells them that they can rest outside, where is there is maybe which is maybe a bit better. The the darkness in here is just too consuming, and they she sees, um, especially she she knows from herself uh, that that she's not feeling that well, and she's not. She is a she. She can fight, but she's not entirely the complete fighter. She has more cuts and bruises upon her uh, than maybe Chebron does. Um, but Chebron is maybe also like more spiritually broken, and she can sense that in a in a way as well. Um, just the way that he's behaving and the way that he's uh, just that she he just is. Uh, but she can also see that he has taken. Uh, a lot of uh, physical abuse as well from the fights that they had. Um, so it's best to, to, to get out, to back, go back to her camp where she can probably also um, uh, do some healing, etc. to re- do some resting, the much needed rest that they need as well. Um, so she pushes them ahead and, 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 and ushers them ahead to, to go um, and, and move out uh, of this place. And Chebron, to a point, agrees. Um, he's not feeling well. Um, he's not feeling at ease at all in this place. He's... Um, it's sort of like some sort of like fear that creeps into his mind. Um it's not that he is completely um that he's like completely um fear ridden but he is um i i guess he, he can sense the the physical tra- or the psychological trauma that was attended to him he's just completely uneasy in this place he's like so it's just something that he can't explain that is nagging uh, onto him and in, in his mind and he just wants to get out of here he's he's not feeling uh he's not feeling well in here so apart from the cuts and bruises he has on the on, on his on his uh on his person so he's, he just he mostly agrees and he can also see i mean Catania is mostly unscathed from from it physically, but um, just seeing, just having seen uh, that at a moment's notice, um, they could be just overwhelmed by these dark shadows as well, makes him uneasy as well, and he 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 pushes ahead and, and talks to Catania. She she can tell everything after they get out of here. He just wants to get out of here. Um, Maybe there's like a lingering hope in his in the back of his mind to maybe get a bit of of the gold from the world, but he quickly disperses that that thought because 
it's maybe I, I mean he doesn't know if he can find the place as well again and the last time it didn't happen to be that well when they when they got out of there um so he talks to Nisana to say uh to that she should uh lead the way and and he is like um not grabbing but like um gently um holding holding katanya which is she's still a bit uh, groggy f- from from the experience she has and uh and, and she's just like um so Gibraltar is like offering more of a um help uh for her to 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 get um uh, some assistance to, so that she can um uh, can get to um can get going uh, in a sense i let uh, the sauna then here delve the depths but it's more of a can they find their way back to um can they get their find their their way back out of the tomb area so can they get back to um to this to this uh, uh midway altar place or this midway uh place before they enter the tomb proper but before it was just the um like the guarding space uh, um, from the others of it, so um, I let her, I let her do that, and she's um, she's maybe not leaning into her into the shadow here. Um, she senses that it's maybe too dangerous to uh, go into the shadows. The shadows themselves seem to pull her more into it than she maybe wants to. So maybe it's better for her to uh, just check the the path itself to just find a secure path maybe trace back their steps uh in an easier way than just like blindly merging into the shadows and moving through the shadows because they're trying to get out as well they don't try to sneak up or stealthily um they just now have a more urgent way to get out but it's not a thing that they just um want to hastily get out they just want to trace back their steps that they made so Nisana wrote here a weak hit on Delving the Depths. Um, and with that, um, she also rolled to check what exactly this weak hit means. Um, so she tries to find their, their way back by um, backtracking, by checking where did they come from. Uh, she can... F- get now a bit more of a feeling of a sense on how this place was constructed yes it was constructed um um part maze part prison um so the walls of the maze are are the 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 cells of the prison itself and the, the 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 cells are then used as as creating a maze um so to um again should should somebody would if somebody would be able to leave their, their 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 cell they would still be in the maze and had to like f- search their way through the maze etc so it, it would make it hard even harder for them to to leave this place um but she was able to 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 gain a bit of a um of a sense or on, on as as they as they get down here to 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 maybe know a bit how to get out of it and there's like these old rules like to uh um uh, always keep to one direction so for example always go go right uh, so it, it's easier for you then to 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 track back by just going all the way left um so it's a, a, a way to to navigate a maze or a labyrinth uh, and she is, and, and Nasana is using that part of her intuition as, and as well on how they uh, got down here. It's not that easy, um, but all the while, um, now that uh, maybe that the, uh, that this place can sense 
three three souls in its grasp um and as nasara has told them and as uh, maybe katanya has um experienced a bit as well in her in her in in her in her spirit spiritual fight is um uh, this this corruption this curse tries to consume um it is driven by an everlasting hunger uh of rage and anger um and destruction and death and 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 so forth um so it can sense uh that this this darkness or this this corruption itself this curse can sense new spirits um in this place um and katanya knew that katanya knew that because she was only able to sense or to see um uh, kaivan as he was lying there his soul was like protected by a bubble from the darkness uh by the silver sword that he was holding but now that and as soon as the the, the sword was gone the, the darkness took hold of him immediately and so she senses also a bit, Katanya, um, this place is trying to fight back now. He can sense the three spirits and it senses that he cannot have them. It cannot, uh, it cannot penetrate their, their shield that they, 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 they have, they seem to have. It doesn't understand maybe fully what is, what is keeping it back to consuming these three souls that have, entered foolishly into its domain uh into its uh, it's, it's dark or in, the, in its um uh immediate domain so it lashes out and it lashes out um and this 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 lash out is is, is comprised as in the whole place begins to uh not shatter but it's, it begins to to rumble uh in its place uh it begins to to quake in 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 and tremble in its in this in this rage that this darkness itself represents and it's uh on on the wall uh stones or loose stones begin to fall onto the floor uh and the ceiling although it's I mean, it's it's not that high, and it begins uh, it begins to crumble as well, and I can sense that this place is trying to fight back. It tries to, if uh, it cannot have their souls, it will have their bodies, and it will have their bodies forever, um, and trapped in this place um, as a sense of of. Uh, of revenge to them itself um so they need to begin to to increase their step to increase their speed to get out of here um as, as i said the, the the place is trying to fight back um and it tries to fight back as i said physically by just collapsing the whole place up, up, above them um that's what it can do best um in this at this moment because it cannot have their souls um because they seem to be some sort of like protected in a sense so everything is collapsing and they begin to increase their step and step um they manage to to find their way back to to this to this previously safe room to the entrance to the tomb um what they only have before them is another maze kind of another a part of this uh barrow um that was done as a resting place for the ones that protected this place uh or that kept watch on this place so now they have to get through that as uh, there as well but since now even this part of the place because it's no longer protected because it has been the the corruption has has uh, has um was able to um uh, escape this place as well um is now also trying to collapse this part of the of the barrel on itself they start uh they start to run try to run out of here uh i, th I think i think with that i i again try to to do the the uh do a delve with 
with Nasana because she is basically like spearheading this. Um, so she is at, at the front. She was at the front by trying to find the path, whereas Katanya and Jabran were a bit back behind Jabran, lending a shoulder to Katanya to uh, to help her um, as well uh, get, get her get out of here at, at the first uh, maybe few steps. So they're they're just behind, but Nisana is leading leading their way. Um, uh, so I guess it's 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 even a at this point it's probably a escaping the depths itself. It's no longer finding the path. It's just escaping as quickly as possible as they can. So they start to to run they start to increase the speed uh, of their steps um Chebron lets go of Catania and Catania is able to 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 run on herself uh, basically um she she maybe pushes a bit uh Chebron as well to 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 tell him that I I'm fine I can do this myself as well um so they start now running they start running and they Nesana, I mean, she was here not multiple times, and she can find her. She can probably find her way uh, easier now uh, that she has experienced this place multiple times anyway. Um, so it's not the problem of finding the the correct uh, path right now. It's kind of finding the correct path and not being. Um, and not being uh, killed by by the collap by the collapse itself of this place, um, and it seems to be some sort of like a uh, trend with Katanya and and Chebran that something is collapsing upon them. Um, if not if not some sort of mine, um, it seems to be or trees. It's now again a a a, a place. I mean. They they keep getting into places that are go on the ground where many where it can collapse very easily just because of the age of such places anyway. Um, so Gibran maybe makes a mental note here to to just keep stopping and and getting into these situations. Um, whereas like delving into into dark underground places where it can collapse themselves and bury them them. Um, in a lot of uh, debris, um, so they run and run and run, uh, and they can see. Um, well, it's not really a, a light at the end of the tunnel, but it's like a a brighter place at the end of the tunnel um, where they can get up. And uh, Nesana at least can feel um, and maybe even smell a bit the. Uh, the outside again um the forests itself the the smells of the forest although it being um corrupted and all um of course the it doesn't smell like f- like fresh pine trees or something like that it still has this lingering um uh rotten smell upon it but it at least it's um it's different than what it is in, in this place here, which is like dark, damp, uh, and and kind of smells more um, uh, of or smells more from the from the bones uh, and stones that are um, in this place. So she at least can sense it, and she can at least sense the the breeze that uh, comes from the outside. So she, they begin or she begins to to run faster they begin all and behind them the rumble and noise um from the falling uh, ceiling um that's behind them that's pushing like a sort of um wild animal or wild uh, like a a wall of 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 debris and 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 uh, dust and stones that are falling, it's just like following behind them, um, and like 
getting closer and closer as the the sound of of the uh, and rumbling and quaking of this falling debris uh and stones is getting louder um and louder maybe a bit um um amplified by the the narrowness of of everything like the echo um and the the narrow tunnels like amplify the sound um of this this collapsing ceiling in itself and it, it the ceiling it it seems to have reached them almost um uh, they they seem to be it seems to be very hard to outrun this um unnatural um phenomenon that seems to be have started from from magical senses or from from unnatural senses in, in itself and stones and uh, are already falling on their hats and on their on their um armor but it's um the armor is more um especially the leather armor is more um designed to to hold up um uh sharp weapons to not be uh, impaled or not to be um cut by by the weapons but blunt damage um just from falling rocks and debris still hurts when they and it gets onto it, especially when it's like larger chunks of 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 stones that are falling down, and especially if they fall onto their heads as well and it first just began with small pebbles and stones that are just mostly annoying and that fall onto their uh heads and and, and thing but it began and it, but it begins to even um getting uh larger pieces of stones that are falling and onto the shoulder and ah uh, dislocates a bit the, the the shoulder of Chebron as well and or like pushes to die and and he, it it hurts him and um he begins to um like touch his touch his shoulder and uh puts it back in and fights through the pain um Catania um in her in her haste um once or twice falls onto the uh the stony floor but she quickly gets helped back up by 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 Chebran and she quickly takes up the pace um it's seems almost as the darkness sensed ah i got one at least but then ah, uh, just just not 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 yet um but falling onto the hard stone floor um bruises her up quite as well uh and uh, also nesana isn't 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 spared by this um she as well also gets um hit and her her she doesn't really wear armor itself so it, it hurts her maybe even more um maybe even some of the the piece of stone um still have some sort of sharp edges and cut into into her um into her arms as she escapes as well um so at this point everybody endures some harm as they try to escape uh, as quickly as possible here and the darkness uh behind them is collapsing the baron onto itself they don't do do that well um all of them got a more or less a weak hit and except for chebron which misses it and they all are except as i said katanya is i think the the one that is uh that has has endured um the least harm of them anyway uh, overall um uh, but Chebron and as well Nasana are quite out of it. And Nasana only has like two health left, and and Chebron only has three health left. Um, Nasana, she she was like bruised and cut up before quite quite heavily, and she's the one that's not wearing that much armor. She's just like wearing. Uh, she has like her hardened. She has more or less like her hardened skin that like bark is 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 over her that pr- offers her a bit of like protection. Um, or like her people some protection but um just the constant um uh this constant threat etc is is not helping her and she's more of a uh, she's not the entirely the fighter she's more of the the uh um 
scholarly type, so she tries to get more knowledge, etc. She's not um, trying. She's not a fighter in itself. So it's so it makes sense that she is is hurt most. And um, yeah, as I said, there's like cuts and bruises and. Um, Chebron quite fitly also has like um, uh, uh, like like the the the, it, the stones try to to shatter his uh, his uh, his resolve. Like there's a lot of bludgeoning damage that that comes into his way, uh, and and even more and more there's like uh, coming onto his head, and he's oh, stumbles the head and gets a, a bit. Uh, groggy as, as as stones fall onto his um, mostly unprotected uh, head as well, and as I said, Catania herself is like um, um, uh, falling onto the floor, and 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 she 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 gets some bruises, um, but it's not that quite severe for her. Um, her armor does does her chop uh, as well, and. She then mostly got some skates, but all of them are quite heavily um, um, bruised up and um, damaged just after this encounter. But they managed to get out. They managed to 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 walk up the steps um, or the ramp or whatever that goes out into the freedom, into the into the dark. Um, uh, into the dark forest, into the Tanglewood, uh, and they take a last leap out of it as the 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 barrow itself in behind it collapses, and the last thing they could see as well is like um, some of the this dark fog has accompanied this this wall of 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 destruction that followed behind them. There's like in front of it was like the the this dark energy that turmoiled the whole place that began the collapse behind it basically so it, this was part of it of this dark magic or energy that is um that has inflicted the collapse uh, in the first place of this place um so but they managed to jump out to leap out into the into the grass floor taking uh, Taking a bit of the hit as it's it's uh, as there's like stones and roots as well on, on the f- on the forest floor as well, but it, at least it's there's nothing that could hopefully fall from from above. Um, and this dark energy to, that was leading out of it is just like um, with some sort of wail or scream is as well dissipating uh, in all directions into the air. Um, like streaks of dark shadow um, pushing out into the into the world itself, grasping um, spirits that are maybe uh, somewhere else that they can corrupt. Um, so it, it just pushes out, and on on their backs they can just see um, this this dark energy, the dark fog leaving. Um, as behind them, the entrance to the barrow collapses in itself and is no longer accessible by normal means, I would say. Um, uh, and, with, and with that, basically, the, there's a second time where Chebron and Catania were involved into a place where everything collapsed into itself and... Um, uh, denied access to it um for for uh, future generations which is maybe also a good thing but if there were some sort of like secrets still in its place they would never know they would never get to them um they would never uh know what could be beyond uh, anything that that and it beyond anything that Catania may, might have learned um, but they made it out and Nesana is guiding them uh, back to her camp where she thinks might be the best spot for them to, to rest um, from this ordeal 
fresh air at least uh, is everybody can like breathe in some fresh air finally after this um dusty mockish air that they had uh within the the, the hold fast barrow uh, within the tomb a sense of relief and a sense of uh newfound freedom in a sense uh overcomes them um like some sort of weight of the world has been pushed down from their shoulders. It's maybe not that dramatic, but it's like, whew, okay, now I'm here again. It's everything seems to be like fresh, new. Um, although they're still in a corrupted space here, they're still in a place that uh, is not that um, friendly, probably, but at least it's something. Uh, they could at least like take deep breath for a moment. Um, there is maybe there is more light here. There's not the darkness. Um, it is dark in itself. The the canopy of the of the forest uh, blocks out most of the light, but there's like a bit of light coming through. Uh, whereas in the in the in the tomb itself, the darkness had had even more power power there and it, it seemed to be even darker in there as well um and they begin to travel back to to the camp um but whereas nasana was maybe um quick and nimble before uh, and almost seems to be like uh pressing on without issue through the through the forest um she definitely now has a limp uh she um and she even holds like uh, part of her arms and, and checking her 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 body as as she walks for the cuts and bruises. And she they can see that um, yeah she bleeds. Uh, she's not she's not invincible and she bleeds as well. Um, there's like crimson color uh, coming over her almost pale greenish skin, and uh, so at at least they know that that thing that that person can bleed as well and she does so and she seems to be um not feeling that well um it it was an ordeal for her as i said she's more of the scholarly type not of the fighting type uh, and this whole thing in going into there has taken her toll onto her both physically and, and and mentally, and that they can see where the grace that she maybe had before is now completely gone. Uh, it's now just there a a person that just uh, hangs on, uh, that just presses on as as much as she can, um, just like just wants to get home uh, in a sense. Uh, and, she basically does um at least go back to her camp um so it's like it's more of a the person is just like dragging her itself to to wherever it needs to go it's not something that um uh yeah she does with grace or quickness or nimbleness um and katanya almost feels even sadder than than she would be she feels she feels for that person in a in a in a way um that even though she never saw saw a creature like her before um she feels a bit of she feels the compassion or she feels the uh empathy for it or for her um and begins to think that she may be not be that far off from themselves. It's just, it's still a being um, that has, uh, that is probably, as it looks like, mortal as well, uh, even though they seem to be living much longer. But there still seems to be some sort of like uh, connection um, onto that on that level as well. Um, that they don't seem to be just like 
uh, and it seems to be have like similar traits and similar kind of of feelings that and and uh, and uh, um, kind of ways of of living them than themselves it's not something that they're completely different they're not uh they're not a beast they're not savage they have some sort of um yeah they're they're human as well in a in a sense or they're humanoid um at least um and that's maybe what what she can sense um at this this point as katanya is the more empathetic type anyway uh in contrast to chibran so they drag themselves mostly, as I said, um, at least Chebron and Asana are quite heavily wounded, um, or at, at least wounded. They drag themselves to the camp um, of Nesana. Um, happily, they fall down uh, on the, or they sit down onto the, onto the logs that are uh, in front of of the now extinguished fire um of course nobody um um uh, kept to the fire itself in the middle of this of this of this camp um so first things first what's what they do um uh, nisana and, and chebran start to to uh to start the fire again uh, rekindle it and uh, it takes them a moment but they seem to be to be able to and the the coldness or the that they had before within the tomb and that is extruded by the um uh the forests and the darkness and and uh and um uh the twilight that is within the forests uh, gives way to the bright lights and warmth that the fire um, produces in front of them. And they sit down. Nesana begins to get out, get back to uh, her, uh, to the, um, uh, to, uh, to off to her chests and 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 um gets out the the same satchel that she used before um to to heal or to tend to the wounds of Chebron as well and starts to uh mend or tend to her wounds and then to Chebron's and Catania's wound as well um Jebra, as as he has had some some wounds before, um, he 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 looks and he can see ah they've reopened again um, from the whole from this whole fighting and stuff. So they have to mend them again and again. This um, this pace that uh, Nesana is is uh, handing him and he's rubbing onto his his open wounds is like burning a lot, um, but uh, he's like biting down his on his tongue to to endure the 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 pain that that it does and he thinks well, at least if it hurts it means that it's still there and it's, it seems to work um so they start to tend their wounds is there as well um and then at one point um uh, as they're, they're sitting there and getting a bit warmer and and, and enjoying the uh, the fire um as well uh Chibran, um during the whole time he like in in a in a way of as a as a sort of like boon or tool to keep him to keep him calm like clutched uh the silver sword during the whole time and he just realizes that that during the whole time he has like clutched or hold this the silver sword in his hand never or just like rarely um kept it out from his side or from his um from his grasp he looks down onto it and and realizes it and and, and realizes the, the 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 comfort it has given him the but then also as well realizes that's not his. Holds out sword to 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 Nasana and says, 
I think this belongs to you. Uh, it it's it's hard for me to 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 give it up. Um, but um, I guess a a deal is a deal. And so does um, uh, Catania then then remember that she has the dagger that uh, Nasana ga gave her, and she she um, she has sheathed it away with, together with her dagger, and she she gets uh, she gets it out as well, and 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 uh, holds holds it out uh, for Nasana to take. Um, and with that as 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 well, um Katanya here tries to to finish and fulfill her wow. She has sore um in instead of the, of of Chebron, which was at the f at first a bit reluctant, um but he can now sense um why Nesana wanted to get back their swords or her swords. Um they seem to be um, not that bad after all. They seem to be um, um, of some value. Um, he could sense um, or he could think, but Catania was the one that swore it, swore it to 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 Nisana. Um, and so she is now fulfilling the wow. Catania rolled here a strong hit, um, and Nisana uh, looks at them both. Um, she takes. The sword from Gibran's hand, and um, she holds it up and inspects it, and not mm, not a speckle has, uh, or not a single thing she could see where where it would have diminished the quality of the blade in itself. Uh, it seems to be as new as it was at the first day. As such, is the this powerful. Um, maybe even enchantment or a material that is uh, that is silver, and she's happy that she has back finally back her 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 second sword that uh, was part of her set. So there might be some more sentimental value behind it. Um, we never know. Then she looks at Catania as well, as she's holding out the dagger, and. She remembers how how Catania fought the um, fought against the um, the spirits in her mind, and um, and that she awoke before even that, before she uh, put back the uh, or gave her this, the dagger as well. And she saw the dagger um, in her hand, the the key that she has, um, and, and saw the the, the blade uh, of this dagger um, um, with the runes on it. And she thinks of it and and says that Catania should keep it, um, keep the silver dagger as part of. Um, of keeping her safe, she can feel that uh, that she is haunted by spirits, and then maybe the dagger will give her some sort of ease uh, at some point. Um, so she should keep it. And Catania first hesitant on getting such a an interesting thing um, can sense that Nesana is more of insisting onto it. Um, and so she, uh, after maybe a minute quiet between the two, um, is taking it back and sheathing it right next to, to her other dagger. And as there are around the fire, um, Catania as well maybe opens up and begins to explain what ha what has happened to her 
uh, because the others were, were wondering exactly what what happened. Uh, maybe because they could just they could just see her being engulfed by the dark shadows. And she explains a bit what what she here. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain in the first place. It's kind of hard to understand it on the other hand for the other two. Um, and so they um, they start to to yeah. She she starts to like explain what happened. Uh, she explains the darkness that she fought. In her in the spirit world, and what she uh, experienced um, as well, what she found out about this dark curse, uh, and Nisana is listening carefully to this. Uh, it is something that she is very interested to hear because she was uh, at the first time, as as the first, uh, as the first said that she, she was sent here to the dark forest um, or to this forest to understand exactly um, what has happened here, to understand it better. And she can now understand it maybe even more and she can even understand it beyond that. She can understand this iron corruption that seems to have befallen the Iron Lands and it seems to be spreading out that she has, has seen as well and that she explained to, to them. So she can piece that together, and she's she's happy to learn that. It's happy. She's happy, or she's she's content of of hearing that uh, because it's helping her gaining more knowledge and maybe getting back to her people because she was sent out here, and she was sent out here for so long that maybe this all in this information that she learned here today and in the last few days uh, with them together seems to be maybe helping her to get back to to her people um in the end um so she's so she's, so she's very well content with that um so but they seem to be getting um weary after all um it has been a long day it has been a long uh fight overall um and nesana then says um well a deal is a deal um the she's or this katanya saw a vow um to to help her get the the sword that she now Jana does, um, so she keeps her promise as well and will um, guide them out of the forest in the morning um, to wherever they want to go, um, which was the, the first thing anyway that they w wanted to do, and they have been um, delayed since then, but first um, they make camp here sleep uh and comes and relaxation comes easily to them um the warm crackling of the fire um and the fresh air and maybe even a sense of safeness within uh the camp of nasana uh lulls them easily to sleep the ointments and um, herbs and the paste that Nasana brought does its does its wonders as well so to speak um, a light like tickling and warmth um, comes out from from wherever the wounds are um, and seems to um, do its work um, closing their open wounds and um, giving the the skin and the uh, the the cells a way of some sort of like relaxing themselves as well um, it is quiet here 
it's not a quiet that they sense before. It's just a calming quiet that befalls them. And they stay, uh, fall asleep, as I said, very easily and very quickly. Catania rolled a strong hit. Uh, so there is a lot of like healing and relaxing going around. And that is, that's, that's helping, um, them quite well. They take a long sleep and they may even like sleep, um, well into the next morning as, as well. Even, even midday. They don't quite entirely know what time it is. Um, as the, as I said, the canopy of the, of the forest is blocking out most of the light anyway. So they cannot see like the sun or something like that or the stars to make out exactly when in time they are. But they sleep, uh, sleep, take a prolonged sleep here. They sleep in, um, they wake up with sore, um, with sore muscles, but it's a good soreness. It's a good, uh, it's good pain, so to speak. It means the body is healing. The body is, um, um, the body is, 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 is getting better uh, in itself. Um, and also Nasana seems to be, um, whereas they could have se- they seen her, um, the evening before when they, when, she, how she limped back to the camp, almost broken in a sense. Um, she now feels much better. Uh, that she has had a good sleep as well, um, and her swords by her side. As it, it seems she, they at first cannot see her, and she then appears from from the wood itself. It seems that she has like uh, brought more firewood uh, to to be to be burned as well. Uh, there seems to be, and that's it, maybe some part of how they woke up. They can smell. Um, small game uh that is roasted uh above the fire um uh which they ate uh hastily and quickly as well uh, as they were hungry from the days before um and it gets a warmth comes is now also like um f- flowing out f- through them or from f- from within, from within them Catania in a in a way is probably the first one to see like the newfound newfound strength that Nasana has as she is like um uh walking around again in the her in her camp and as she was like melting into the shadow again. Um the night's rest has done wonders for her as well. So they ate, they rest a bit more, they re up a bit their um their their wounds uh they um refresh their uh their uh their linen to and reapply some more of the paste that um Nesana gave gives them uh, and she even like gives a, a, a bit of a, a, a small satchel that they they can, can keep on their travels um and then they start and get up and uh, so the son t- asks them where they want to go, where where is their where is their goal anyway? Um, so basically, in a sense of like more of like uh, um, current direction that they want to go. Um, and I think at this point they still have they still want to go to Whitewood. Um, I mean, it's was their initial thing anyway um and they think um when it comes to getting maybe more supplies and maybe take a bit more rest in civilization it will probably be there um although maybe thornfield would be closer but i mean if they want to anyway get maybe some more drops or something like that in in whitewood they will probably go there and um Nesana not being, I mean, they just basically say more or less like a direction, more or less, that they want to go. Um, 
or they like described or they fell in this river and they were following that path to the to this village. And Nasana can maybe get out from that description on where they want to go. And she says, yeah, she can bring them to 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 the border of the forest um, to help them then get there um, faster. That it might be only like a two days out specifically um to this to this village she knows of it she has heard of it um she might have maybe even um at some part like taken an expedition out there to to get a bit of a uh sense of their um of her surroundings yeah she can she can bring the them to this to to the border of the of the forest there as well so it takes them, um, I would say, the rest of the day to, to cross the forests uh, in a sensible matter as well and to get to to the border of the forest where um, uh, Nasana says, and if you continue in, in, in this direction, you will reach your destination, as I said, in two days. And they can see, you know, as they exit it, um, even more fresh air and, this, and finally they can see uh, the sky again and uh, now as the night begins to fall um, they can see uh, the stars again beginning to light up in the sky as the sun is falling down um, beyond the horizon and Catania asks um, asks then Nasana if they would meet again or if they could meet again maybe later um or if she is maybe even able to help him f- them further, she's thankful for for the dagger that she has given her, and she can f- sense how important that dagger is. But she fears if they, as the Ironlanders, need to fight back against um, this. Um, corruption if there's maybe more of it um, if there if there's maybe some other way that she can help her or help them in a sense Katanya is maybe trying to forge a bond with Nisana so as she as she says that Nisana is is looking at at her and She's not the kind of type to forge bonds quite easily or like to to be very empathetic. And she has, whereas she may have like had a soft spot before because she was maybe hurt a bit, she negates it. Uh, she basically says in a sense, maybe even in a, in a surprisingly cold manner to at least um, Katanya, um, that they're not ready yet. Um, it's a fight that the Ironlanders, their people basically, have to fight themselves. It's not something that they would help um, to do. So they have to fight it themselves. And with that, she basically like turns around and melts into the forest, never put to be seen again. For now, at least, for Catania. And Chebron. And so Catania and Chebron are here again alone at the border of this forest, thinking back on what has just happened the f- last few days. Quite still unsure. But looking ahead to the future, what the future might hold in Whitewood. And with that, we end this episode here and um, a long running chapter for Catania and uh, Chebron as well. And let's see then the next time as they probably make camp here and then travel further to to Whitewood, uh, what might might happen. Um, So I hope to hear you in the next episode. (laughs) 